Hello, my beautiful friends! Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Anna Stashkina, and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful wafer paper desis and edible stamps and even the center made out of wafer paper. So I hope you like this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's begin. I'm going to use this rice noodles, rice vermicelli. I prefer not the specific brand, but I prefer a specific thickness. So as you can see, this one is a little thicker than maybe a usual one. But if you can find the one that's already like has all the, those shapes, it would be even better for you to use. And I'll show you how you can paint this noodles just using airbrush color or you can use gel color. This is Forest Green by AmeriColor airbrush. So to paint my rice vermicelli rice noodle I'm going to take a little bit of my forest green airbrush color and just color my noodle. You can see that you can get this saturated colors right away. If you want to lighten it up a little bit you can take a paper towel and you can wipe it up now you have this beautiful green light color perfect for your daisy stamps. And I have another tutorial. I made a tutorial how when I showed you how to make leaves for like edible stamps and fall leaves. And I made this one. So I showed in that tutorial how to make them in these different shapes. So I'm going to split it in half. Also split it in half. And I'll show you interesting method of using this and making your edible stamps. And the second most important thing we are going to use today is we are going to use all our wafer paper scraps. I've been asked many, many times how to reuse or what is the purpose of collecting this wafer paper scraps. And first of all, of course, you can make your wafer paper glue. Basically, you mix water and wafer paper, let it bloom or put it in a microwave. Down below, you can find the recipe for the wafer paper glue. I'll take a few pieces of my scrap wafer paper. I'm, I'm looking for a specific size. So I'm looking for this like rectangular thin so not extremely small or tiny pieces but something I can work with so I'll take one of these pieces and create some random round shape about maybe an inch in a quarter in diameter or about like three centimeter or something and I just need to soften it up on both sides and make my wafer paper pliable fold it inside a few times I'm going to soften it a little bit more to create like a tiny button or my flower center. Shape of a tiny dumpling, tiny, tiny piece of wafer paper turn inwards. And I'm going to take my stem, maybe a little bit of this wafer paper glue, dip it just slightly and insert into the center of my wafer paper center. Or like daisy center and I'm going to play around and arrange it and now I have my edible wafer paper center and my edible rice noodle stem the one I made earlier maybe like 10 minutes ago you can see how firm it is attached to like wafer paper to rice noodle I can pull it relatively firm and it stays in place so that's what we are going to use and next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my petals. So here again, I have my scraps, my wafer paper scraps. This is roughly, I would say, two and a half centimeters, like so one inch high. And I'm going to cut it in a smaller shapes to make my petals like this, like this. So I have three layers of wafer paper stuck together and I'm going to cut them together to create my petal shape. And I'm cutting just basic wafer paper, like daisy petal shape, and I have three at the same time. I'm going to take a little bit of my wafer paper conditioner, so I call it 
AC as Astashkina Cakes Tonic. And you can download the recipe in the comments or uh, basically this is just a mixture of food grade glycerin and water. I use distilled water but if you want to discard it after each use you can definitely use regular tap water. And I'll pl place a few drops here. Uh, I'm using glycerin in my mixture because it helps to soften wafer paper without melting my wafer paper. And I'm going to put just a touch of my wafer paper or AC paper tonic on my table. Just a touch to make sure that I barely have any moisture on my brush. And then I'm going to take my petal, bumpy side up and lightly brush just a few strokes and put it on my floral pad. I'm going to press it down just on one side to give it a little bit of movement. So I'm trying to cup my petals inward on this side, maybe five petals. And for the other four petals that are going to be my second layer or my bottom layer, I'm going to turn this upside down and just gently press and curl my wafer paper like this. So now I have a few petals here, I will leave them to dry. So the next step what we are going to do is we are going to make our uh, center even fancier and much more interesting. And I'm going to use this mixture, this is uh, semolina, no, this is cornmeal. So this is cornmeal and semolina or something similar mixed with yellow powder dust. So you can see this is like um, your typical pollen mixture you do for your flowers. And I'm going to take my center, the one we made just recently, just a little bit of gel, ivory uh, gel color. So I'm going to take this ivory gel color, just a touch, paint on my center and you can see this ivory almost looks like it's brown color but i promise you just straight ivory gel from uh, the bottle and then i'm going to dip the center in my semolina mixture so i have my yellow pollen but i still have this darker under undertone so it doesn't look so flat or boring now it's time to assemble our flower what I'm going to do is take my wafer paper glue, apply it to the back side of my center. Thin layer should be enough. And then I will take my petals and stick them to my center. And you can see wafer paper is so light that it will take you just a few seconds to hold it and then it will be already stuck to your center. Then I will turn it upside down to make sure that all my petals are stuck to my center. So I'm just lightly pressing it down. And then this is going to be my first layer. I will put it on the side to dry and I will bring another one. I made quite a few flowers earlier today. So this all they all have first layer done. So I'll take another one to show you how to add even more petals to your flower. And for my second layer, I'm going to apply again a little bit of my wafer paper glue on the back side and place my, my petals going like downward, like this. <laughs> And I'll do another one, so I will put it here to dry and I have all these petals, so I will apply just a touch of wafer paper glue. I can take a pair of tweezers and just insert my petal on the front side like this. So with wafer paper 
you don't need to follow any specific rules you can do whatever makes you happy and with a paper will always follow your lead and your desire so you can see we made this beautiful wafer paper daisies in no time just using our wafer paper scraps and you can insert them into a cake or if you want to um, make it like to put it on a cupcake you can just break it the rice noodle and insert it in, into your cupcake thank you so much for joining me for this demonstration i hope you like it i hope you learn a few new tips and tricks how to work with wafer paper my name is anastashkina please subscribe to my channel if you like it and i'll be back next week with another demonstration bye bye